Hello, people of the internet, my name is Johnny, and welcome back to another update video on the Fazbear Fan Burst Initiative. This has got to be one of the most interesting things that has ever been done for the franchise, and I'm not messing around. Getting straight to the point, teasers have been nothing new to the franchise at all, Scott has been doing it for about six years. But never have we had a teaser that is technically not a trailer, but it is still a video. A FNAF teaser video, and that is exactly what has happened with the FNAF remake, FNAF Plus. Let me just say, I want to thank all of you guys for the massive support on the last initiative video. It did so well. Even Phil Moore, the guy who is creating FNAF Plus, aka literally the frickin' FNAF remake, tweeted out saying, hey, go check out this video. That is just absolutely incredible, and so guys, thank you so much for the support on that video. Of course, I'm gonna keep you guys updated on whatever information is released for the games in the initiative, and I hate to be one of those YouTubers, but subscribing is the best way for you guys not to miss out on that content, because trust me, you do not want to miss out on more info. So now, let's hop into what is actually going on with FNAF Plus. So before we hop into the actual teaser videos, I want to first cover some quick tweets that Phil made before the teasers went out. On September 2nd, Phil tweeted out, this weekend I'm set to complete one of the last character models for hashtag FNAF Plus. Been working on this one for a while and it may be one of my best 3D modeling work. Or at the very least, one of the most intricate pieces I've ever done. Can't wait for everyone to see him in the game. So I can think of a few characters who this may be referring to. It could be Freddy, could be Foxy, could be Golden Freddy, maybe even Springtrap if he appears in this remake. I will say, with the release of the teaser video, Phil has confirmed that all of the character models have been finished. And going off of this tweet, it seems like Phil really wants to keep these models secret until the game releases. In the teaser, we do see one of the characters, but I'm guessing he wants to keep the majority of their models secret until we properly see them in-game. Of course, that is just my guess on it. Don't take that as factual at all. But the next couple of tweets is how Phil wants to approach teasers with this game. I think I've decided how to do teasers moving forward for hashtag FNAF Plus. I've learned to dislike making teasers for the sake of it. Many devs hand out way too many cryptic ones for pointless fluff. Or when they are a monthly obligation, they start feeling way less special. I think the best way to do it is to put out one teaser every time development reaches a very important milestone. E.g. when all 3D assets are done or all AI is done. A teaser will be posted on at FNAF Plus and on at FizzNom. I'll explain what milestone of dev has been achieved. This way, each teaser is special and has a purpose to it. The more teasers there are, the more you'll get to feel like the game is progressing and getting closer to release. What do y'all think? Honestly, I really like the idea of releasing a teaser when a certain milestone of development is done. Like I said on the last tweet, the reason why we got this first teaser is because all of the models have been finished. Now I have no clue what development stage is next for Phil, maybe modeling the rooms, but based off the teaser it seems like he's already been working on that. How many stages of development there is for this game, I don't know. How often they will be finished, I don't know either, so we're just gonna have to wait and see. So now I want to take a look at the actual teaser video that was posted on the official YouTube channel, link down below. Go subscribe to it so you don't miss any of the teaser uploads. Now I have seen this video, so this isn't technically a reaction, but I do want to walk you guys through it. So first, I'm going to play it in full. Here we go. It's a minute 47 seconds. So this seems like the camera feed that's going on. And look at that. That is incredible. The dining area, we can see a red and white checkerboard floor. Looks so good. We saw Pirate Cove, what I'm guessing is Pirate Cove earlier. We hear some movement off in our left ear. Maybe that was the camera, maybe it was an animatronic, we don't know. It's panning again. It's so creepy too. Here's some more movement. Yeah, I'm guessing this is Pirate Cove right here, but I don't know. What could that be? Not seeing anything right now. Here's some more movement. That might be the camera. I don't know. Gonna do one last pan. And there's Bonnie. Look at that. Look at his eyes. Terrifying. Terrifying. So creepy. He's just standing there, menacingly. And then it cuts. Where'd he go? 
Is he still there? He's not. Where'd he go? Where's the bunny? Where'd he go? Terrifying. And that is the camera... The, it's the map. It's the camera map. Okay, so now I did a little bit of analyzing while the video was playing, but I want to go through it one last time. So, clearly, this is the... This is the dining area, and let me just say, this looks incredible. I freaking love this. This looks so good. Phil, man, you are doing an amazing job, and I, I've seen one room. You know if I've seen one room, and I'm saying that right now, you are doing an excellent job. I'm so hyped for this. Yeah, so you hear that... I don't know if that is a animatronic, or if it is truly just the camera. It might be a camera. Uh, but again, I don't know, but here we can see the floor, and what I'm guessing to be a light over near Pirate Cove. Because if I remember the layout of the map correctly, that is where Pirate Cove is. And the light is flashing over there, it looks so creepy, dude. The atmosphere... Atmosphere is just so good. And then it pans again, so over here should be the bathroom, I think. Yeah, because over here is the kitchen. And let's let's get over to Bonnie, right? Look at that, boys. You you cannot tell me that is not terrifying. It's just the eyes, right? Um, this is the same pose that Bonnie was in in the original FNAF game, and it just oh, it looks so much more creepy. Of course, we can't see the full model because I don't think Phil really wants us to see it until the full game is properly out, which I'm fine with. Um, I actually prefer these little glimpses at the characters instead of just, oh, here's the full model. So I like the way, um, I, I love how he's teasing Bonnie, I think that's nice. And then we get an another shot sometime later. Look at that. Look at that, that is so creepy. So, uh, yeah, this is Bonnie again, it looks like Bonnie. Um, his eyes, dude, it's just so creepy. Like, this feels like he was trying to make a FNAF VHS tape. So creepy. If he does that in the actual game, that's gonna be so terrifying. And then we have the camera layout map. Now, right off the bat, it is both very familiar and both very different from what we're used to. So looking at it, you can tell it is basically the same map, just with slight differences. Right, we have the main hall here, and these are, I'm guessing, they, they can't be tables because we know there's a lot more tables than four. They might be like pillows, just random pillows in the dining area. This is very clearly the show stage. This, I'm not sure what it could be, probably a prize area, because we know there was a prize area in a FNAF building, because we saw that in Help Wanted, so I'm guessing this is a prize counter. This is the bathroom, it's in the same place. You have the, oh god, which way does it go? I think this is the women's bathroom, and then this is the male's bathroom. The kitchen down here, not sure what this area is. That's a new room. Then you have the office right here, um, this could be the supply closet, because it's in about the same place. Don't know what this area is. Maybe, like, an arcade. It has another one of those pillar-type structures. Or, this is Pirate Cove, and then this is a backstage area. And then maybe this is a, a table? I don't fully know, because the squares are kind of confusing me. And then there's another room up here, which I don't think it is a safe room. Because we know the safe room is off this this hallway for the bathroom right maybe it's been moved and this truly is the safe room i don't know um and then of course we have the entrance right here something that the squares could be is um places that you can go because we can see a square in the office so maybe we're going to be able to move around the environment i truly don't think that's going to be the case but it is just a theory that does not explain what this is though but maybe it is pirate cove because it has the same general rectangular shape as the show stage. And then the red attention signal is very clearly um, where an animatronic is. So we saw Bonnie was in the dining area, so I'm guessing this is probably Chica because she appears around that area. So I don't know if that's going to be a main function for the cameras or maybe it's a cheat that you can put on in a extras menu. Phil followed this teaser video up by tweeting new milestone, new FNAF plus teaser connection error. This one marks the completion of all character models. As you can see, progress is already underway for the other milestones too, rooms, programming, etc. 
and yes, most teasers will be videos. So this actually follows up one of my previous statements about what he's working on next. So it seems like rooms and programming maybe are the main two he's working on right now. Of course, the etc is there, so maybe rooms and programming aren't his main focus right now. I Again, I don't know. Again, I love the idea of video teasers. I think that is something that is very interesting and it, it makes me really think that for the past six years all the teasers we've gotten have been have been images like why scott never had the idea to make teasers videos i don't know maybe people would interpret as uh trailers but yeah honestly i love the idea of teaser videos i feel like they make for a much more interesting um glimpse at the game so that is all of the updates for fnaf plus right now again i'm extremely hyped for this game the more that gets revealed the more hyped i get because we all knew right a fnaf remake that is going to be so cool but now that we have a teaser image as well as a teaser video i think that this is going to be one of the best games in the initiative of course not trying to discredit all of the other developers i'm extremely hyped for their games as well but that is everything so far there was no release date for this or any of the fanverse initiative games right now so don't even try asking games take a lot of time to make so please be patient with all of the developers but of course when more news is revealed i will showcase it to you guys once again phil's twitter and the youtube channel for fnaf plus is linked down below so go follow and subscribe because there's going to be a lot of information on the game on those platforms i mean it's literally the official youtube channel and official twitter for the game and creator so of course it's going to have a lot of juicy stuff on it so go check those things out it's all linked down below and i'll see you all on the flip side goodbye